hello hello everybody it's been a while i think it's been over two weeks i have missed you guys i have missed you i have a retightening appointment tomorrow i'm close to 12 weeks maybe over i lost count you know i redid the last retightening so i got some now that i can put <laughs> two fingers in it's about 11 and a half 12 weeks it's grown quite a bit i hadn't made a video i've been going through some stuff y'all the last couple weeks you know I'm a Reiki practitioner and uh, I had a, I taught a Reiki level one class a few weeks ago and after that class something happened. I did I had five students so I did a attunements, three attunements for each student throughout that afternoon and something happened with my energy because the following week for the first time in a session I was able to see the light, the chakra colors and the energy coming up from the body. Normally, I feel it with my hands, but I was able to actually see it. It took me for a loop. I didn't really know what was going on during the session. I kept blinking because I also saw like a grayish black smoke leaving the part of the body where the energy congestion is or the dis-ease is, the, the, the part of the body that gives off the, the vibrational resonance that equates with something unhealthy going on. So... Clearly, in order for, for that to have happened, I hit another level in my inner vision, so to speak, the third eye thing. So I was kind of in a space. I started having some other experiences that go along with that increase in energy elevation and that heightened vibration. So I pretty much had to cocoon for a couple weeks. And then I started having these vivid dreams, uh, a couple of one lucid dream, which I've never had in my life before, but I had uh, some vivid dreams, which I've had before, but never like this every single night. So um, then I was extremely, I'm already sensitive to smells, to sounds, to tastes, and um, feeling, right? Feeling other people's energy. That was on steroids for the past few weeks. So I was really in a sensitive energy space. I had to cut my phones off as much as I could throughout the day. When I wasn't having sessions or something like that, I had to keep my phones off. I was taking Epsom salt baths twice a day. Yesterday and today are the first two normal days that I've had where I feel more like myself. So I missed you guys to say the least. So here I am. It's been a while, right? And you know I did a lot of this stuff unevenly because I was doing these my own, right? So here we go. We got we got this kind of growth, right? And so needless to say, the grid has gotten quite tangled and I am tender headed. And the last few weeks, I haven't been able to pull my hands through my hair without it getting really tangled. Now, remember, I told you guys about a month ago, I was going to maybe a little bit more than a month. I was going to stop using any of my oils at all, even the one that I make. Not because it's bad for my hair, but because I wanted to see what my hair was going to do if I went six months or so without the kinds of oils that I normally put in there. I also wanted to see if it had any effect on Lent because you guys know I've been battling this Lent and I'm just going to tell y'all I've had a regression. I am now carrying the uh, tweezers and the push pin in a regular, on a regular basis and I have found myself at the stoplight, guys, pulling out because now that I am oh now that I'm not using the the oil on my hair the lint I'm able to see the lint even more but that's not what this video is about we're going to talk a little bit about what I have to do before I see my loctician tomorrow because I need not to be in a whole bunch of pain tomorrow now this particular one that I'm going to she typically is a little bit easier on my hair and hair what the heck she's usually a little bit easier on my hair anyway but we already know you guys that this that my grid is tangled because I'm really due for a oh it's really tangled and guys I'm getting more gray too huh y'all got about like 15 gray hairs around the front I'm walking in gray I'm, I'm embracing my grayness that other sister on the sister locks channel who has um, a lot of gray, it looks beautiful. So what I have to do, and what I suggest you do each time you go for retightening, if you want to minimize breakage, if you want to minimize um, the discomfort when you get your retightening, say for example, you're tender headed or especially around the front because 
you know, guys, I told y'all, uh, nobody's an advocate for you except yourself. And if it's not on your head, you don't have the nerve endings. And sometimes when they're going through doing the retightening, they can forget that these are tender areas, which means hairs can snap. And over time, you're going to be the one to pay the cost for that in the, in the um, area of lost hair, thinning hair, maybe traction alopecia, whatever. So anyway, I'm going in tomorrow now. So what I've got to do is I'm going to sit. See, I can't. It hurts just to rake it through. I've got to go through each one. You hear that hair? You hear that? It's like a guitar. You see that? I've got to separate these out. Now, I mentioned to you guys that I wasn't using any oil, right? Depending upon how this feels tonight when I finish trying to separate this hair, and you can do it just this quickly, all of them won't be as tangled. And I got to say, it's less tangled now that I've washed it. Tell me that that's gray and not lint. Now that I've washed it, it's much less tangled. Yeah, that's a little gray hair. They're coming in, guys. You see that? Yeah. Um, much less tangled because of the shampoo. The Dr. Bronner shampoo that I make that you guys have seen on the channel, it acts, it softens the hair and it detangled so well. So it's, it's less tangled now. However, there are bound to be areas where hairs need to be separated, especially when you consider how much new growth I have. Now I have uneven new growth because I still have gone through and been retightening here and there. There's been no method to my madness. So I still have areas that are uneven in new growth. I may have one lock that has one finger of new growth beside one that has maybe two. But my hair is growing super fast these last few months. This is a faster rate of growth than normal. Now they claim when you're doing that spiritual thing, your hair grows faster. And you know, I, I really had some elevated um, energy going through. This may sound ridiculous, and I have made some more changes to my eating habits too as well. I had to because I can't just, I just, last few weeks, I can't tolerate the stuff that I used to eat anymore. It's just not working. It's the symptoms of the wheat and the gluten and the dairy have really intensified. And that may smoothen out. You know, once I get past, my body makes the adjustment to this new vibration. But I got to tell you guys, too, I've had a few um, visions as well. So something is going on. I don't want to say too much because I don't want y'all to think I'm a kook. But anyway, you see this one here? I put a little ball here to identify this one because this is one that has quite a bit of cotton. I'll have to deal with this tomorrow. I've been working on these guys. I've been messing up some of them. One of them today, I just took a whole, probably lost this much. I just pulled it off. It just had so much cotton, I couldn't handle it. My daughter's like, Mommy, if you know that the whole lock has cotton, uh-oh, here's a piece, guys. I see two pieces. She's like, if you know the whole lock has cotton, why do you keep going through this? Nobody can see it. And I said, I can see it. <laughs> That's enough. I freaking can see it. But... uh at issue here is the fact that we know that the lock itself, you see that piece of cotton? We know that the lock itself, can't see that, can you? Is made of a lot of cotton. Once you stop using all that oil and you start washing this stuff, and then when you have color like me, you notice that the cotton becomes more apparent. Becomes more apparent. And so what you didn't notice before, you began to notice. So I have to deal with that. I can't be lazy with this because I'm going to pay the price for this tomorrow. So guys, you got to make the time to do this because just when you think none of it is tangled is when you sit down. Uh-oh, see this? See this? This is what I'm talking about. You see this? Can you see that? Can you guys see that? See, this is, this is together, right? We got to gently pry that apart. Yeah, you got to do this and you're going to want to do this prior to going in. Now, I didn't blow dry my hair tonight. I normally will blow dry it just a little bit. I thought it better to come on here and talk to my sisters. I may just sleep on wet hair tonight. But you see, that's the beautiful thing about these locks. Now, you see, this is more hair growing in here that eventually will become locked. 
I have some more fuzzies growing around here that will eventually become locked. You guys know that I took this, which used to be one, separated it out. These are have been in now about four months, three to four months. You can see that this one is kind of opened a little at the ends, which we call slippage, and it's wavy. This is how my whole hair was when I first got my locks. This one, I'm surprised, has about one, two, three knots forming in it. Now, you guys know me. I like my ends to stay open, so this knot here on the bottom, eventually I will take that out. But I'm starting to pay more attention to my locks now, thanks to you beautiful women who are educating me. So I'm seeing some of the repercussions of some of the things that I've done to my locks, which I will share in future videos. Now, this is something kind of crazy. You see, I just pulled that little off. You got to remember, I've been coloring every, uh, what, three, four months for the last couple of three years now. So I'm no stranger to color. So my hair has dried out some. I probably, yeah, you see, okay, you see this, you see these cotton. Now, these are just probably pretty a piece of cotton or two from, that fell in my hair from picking out all the other cotton that I've been picking out every day for like the last few weeks. But um, either way, you want to get this stuff out of your hair. You always want to make sure you wash it before retighten. If, you're, if your lactician consultant washes it for you, then it may not do you any good to sit there and pull the hair apart because She's going to wash it. It's just going to tangle up again. But if you're the person that washes your own, like I have always had to do, I didn't even know that some of them or they were supposed to wash them. I think I prefer to wash mine anyway. Um, but you want to try to pull them apart and make sure it's nice and detangled. And I'm really on the fence about adding just a little bit of... um jojoba oil not my typical oil that I use guys but a little bit of jojoba oil to my hair to um, help keep it detangled why because when this stuff dries tonight it's going to get a little more jacked up it's going to get a little tangled and I'm so tender-headed I just don't want to suffer tomorrow especially because I have a lot more new growth than what I normally have um, but if you're new to these locks and yours are very short, stay away from oil and stuff or pure oil. You want to add water to it. Stay away from that um, in the beginning, especially if you have locks that are shorter than this, guys. You got to do some things that are different. As you watch my videos, um, you need to use your own discretion and you need to use your own judgment because when your locks are very short, they're more easy to slip. Now, also, you have to keep in mind that texture of hair makes a difference. And some people's hair locks very early. And so they don't have to worry about slippage as much. So that's why I say there is no one size fits all. You want to recognize that your journey is an individual one. Okay, see this type of stuff that really hurts my feelings. Do y'all see this? Can you see that? Now, who cannot see this? You see that? That hurts my feelings. You see this? That's got to come out. Ah! And the more I wash my hair and the more I don't put oils in it, the more I'm going to be dealing with this crap. Oh, so guys, are you enjoying March? It's been so beautiful. The days are getting longer. I'm beginning to be happier. My um, moods are being affected. Today is the first day I left my office this evening with the energy of the world. No, not the first day. The last week this time, Tuesday. Because with the days getting longer, you know, I'm a, I have that seasonal <laughs> affective disorder. So this year was actually, I'm exaggerating, but I've self-diagnosed. This year was the first year that I actually gave... Thanks for the colder weather and the shorter days because I was trying to, and I am trying to be more grateful for all of the wonderful things that the Creator sends us. And we have to take uh, the seasons as signs to how we should be functioning. So clearly you shouldn't be doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff in the fall and the winter. And you need to have your butt in the house in the evening. 
you need to relax your days and what you expect of yourself and you need to take more frequent breaks and you need to eat differently but now that the beauty of spring is upon us this is a time of rebirth happiness laughter bird chirping movement energy and all sorts of wonderful ways to align yourself with this enlivening vigorous energy and so I hope that you are enjoying March so anyway, I am thinking I might need to put just a tiny bit of this. And when I say a tiny bit, you know what? I probably need to even put it on my hand before I put it in my hair because I don't want a whole lot of this. That's going to defeat the purpose. I'm supposed to be trying to go oil free, right? So I'm just talking about a tiny bit because here's the other thing too, guys. If y'all remember when I made this um decision it was because i was thinking of cutting my locks and by the way somebody met me at the um i don't know she just came up to me this was spirit here she was an angel she said don't cut your locks people will know you by your locks the work you do the healing you do don't cut your locks and then i went back to some of those videos and things that i read about how our hair is like antennas and it carries um ancestral information as well as energetic information and I thought about the times that you know my hair has been a major part of my spiritual journey and I just said okay Tunisia with you going lighter on the oil your hair might be less heavier and as you repair this rotator cuff which has seen seems to have affected your shoulders and your trapezi muscle and your neck perhaps you won't feel your hair, the hair won't feel as heavy but y'all, I got to tell you, since I haven't been using my oils, my hair is a lot lighter. I'm not even going to exaggerate. So uh, then I also washed it in a way that I hadn't previously. I washed it four times at the spa a few weeks back. I continued to wash and wash and wash and wash. And I probably got out a lot of stuff that... Because you guys know I'm not a big proponent of washing your hair that often. And, you know, I'm learning as I go. And it has served me well because my hair daggone show is growing and I'm certainly not suffering there. But I'm wondering for sure, if you figure, if you put everything that's in this bottle in your hair over the course of a month, you still got weight in your hair, right? So my hair is feeling a little bit lighter. And being that it's getting longer and it's growing very fast, I need that relief. Because I don't know, y'all. I'm going to try not to cut it. I'm rededicating myself to hair growth. I'm not going to give up on cutting. And this video is at 20 minutes, so I'm going to not cut my hair, but I'm going to cut y'all loose. <laughs> what y'all think about my rhymes? So, yeah, y'all, it's growing. And um, even though I'm still messing with my ends... You know, I mess with my ends because I'm always fooling around with this cotton. Uh, it's growing. It's getting pretty long. It's thick as hell. I'm not suffering in that department. So, I love you. I love you. And I just want you guys to know that I so appreciate your views. I love it. I appreciate your views. You guys are my family and I have missed y'all. Look at those grays. Is this cotton or is this gray? I appreciate you supporting the channel. I really, really do. I have a lot more videos coming up. Keep coming back. Go ahead and add notifications so you will know when I put a video up. All right. Know that I respect your choice to spend your time here on this channel when you decide to. You guys see, like I'm barely putting anything in there, but this jojoba oil is the closest oil to our natural hair sebum. So it doesn't take much. You only need a little bit. You see like this, you just need a little bit. I'm just trying to get it in the scalp to help with some of the tangling. So ladies, much love to you. You are with Tunisia Ali and her 575 locks now because I added the one here that I split. 
And I love you guys and already I feel better because I have talked to my long lost sisters whom I haven't talked to in a while. And I'm signing out. If you want to visit me or learn more about the channel or the life coaching or the online classes or anything having to do with healing energy, Reiki, tarot readings, anything like that, go to um, ButterflyTransformations.com. I also have a Butterfly Transformations YouTube channel. If you want to schedule a distance Reiki session or some sort of distance energy healing, you can go to my Hidaya Reiki website and set that up. I've had a few of you on the channel, several of you on the channel to do that. And I encourage you guys to um, see what a energy healing feels like. Have your first Reiki session and clear some of that stagnant energy from the last season as you go into spring to help balance your aura and to help, you know, clear any blocks or any stagnant energy with Sneeja Ali sending like love to you. Bye guys.